Alrighty guys, so what I actually want to show you is kind of like a diagram using like a basketball court, half of one at least. And just to kind of show you where you should be placing your mold divide pieces in order to create an energetic field that kind of resembles this basketball court in the sense where you see all everything that's shaded in red. That's basically where you're going to be placing like your mold divide in such a way where it expands out to where it becomes the blue. Now, how you go about this can be done in many different ways. Depending on how many pieces of Moldavite you have, you can do this more readily, quickly if you have more pieces, whether they're big or small, or though the bigger the better, because you can feel um, more of the energy. But even if you're working with small pieces right now, guys, you could definitely start placing pieces of Moldavite like in the corners of, like say, you have like a room, a bed, if, you, um, if you're living with someone else and you currently have to share the space. Um, you could definitely, you know, work on your bed, work on some place in your home where you can actually place Moldavite in a in a square, like like you would in a room. So I'd place like a piece of Moldavite here, one on that corner, one on that corner, then one on that corner, and of course you always want to you always want to put one in the middle as well to create this kind of like boom, 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 this energy that just kind of connects the whole room and starts to engulf it. And when you start doing that, don't forget to put a grounding stone. And I always recommend smoky quartz. I like to use uh, petrified wood, you know, something more natural. You could always use black tourmaline. Um, you definitely always want to have a grounding stone unless you want to purposefully feel really spacey and loopy for a while and just kind of experience what that energy is like without any grounding stones, which I can admit to say that sometimes it's a little... It can be overwhelming, but it's fun if you can like outlast it for a while. But then after, you know, after you get used to the energy, you know, you do want to kind of ground it. That way your head's like not all up in the sky all the time, so to speak. And, you know, when you start to create these grids, the more that I keep working on it. And of course, if you guys have questions, feel free to ask me. I feel like I'm just kind of doing an overall general explanation of this because there's so many ways you can create grids according to how you're led to intuitively um, how you're led to, like I said, by the spirit. Um, you have to really trust that intuition when you're guided to start creating these spaces. And when you start creating these spaces, you're technically creating a portal, you're creating like a grid where this energy is really just encompassing and recharging itself over and over again and the energy never stops. So anytime you walk into a grid that's like filled with just the Moldavite energy, so let's just pretend all of this is filled with Moldavite energy and you got it in the middle, we got the grounding stones. Anytime you walk into this field, you're going to feel the energy, you're going to recharge. And so that's inevitably what you wanna do is you wanna be able to come to a place where you can charge all this energy. And of course you can expand it. Like if you have something like this, you can put one right there, right there right there and then also one in the middle don't forget the one in the middle guys and of course you can always start like at the bottom bottom of like your room for let's just say for example you're starting off in your room for the sake of this explanation you can start off on the bottom mold divide all the way on the bottom down on the floor then you want to move up to the middle you want to tape it to the middle of the room on each corner and if you could hang it in the middle even better then you want to go up to the top so you want to do all the tops of the four squares and one in the middle. And that's gonna build like the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate Moldavite grid, basically like a portal to, to create whatever you wanna create in that space. And it all comes down to what you need on your journey. Like for me personally, I like to create a portal basically to heaven that connects me straight to the source, connects me straight to God. It's literally my heaven chamber and that's what I use it for. Now, other people that I've talked to and have actually used this, have actually used it to teleport, although I definitely have not gotten to that level yet, but I'm sure someone maybe here in the channel will, maybe one day I will, but they've been able to teleport themselves, whether it's been astral or like physically, and or communicate with like aliens and just create this energy where people can come in of, of that high vibration and only that high vibration, you can also do things in that vibration that you wouldn't be able to do so otherwise. And I know maybe some of you guys are hearing this for the first time and you're like, wow, like I actually want to do this. I want to create this. And all I say is do it if you're guided to do it intuitively. Don't do it just because maybe everyone else is doing it or 
because you heard me talking about it like do it because you're actually being called to do it for a greater and grander purpose because it also helps people like if you have people over you will also notice that maybe if um somebody's not resonating at that frequency if you actually place this all around your house they will not enter that house because they are not reaching that level of frequency and it really protects everything around you meaning if this whole place is covered with moldavite only those beings and things of that frequency will be able to enter into that area right so it's like a sacred place a sacred sanctuary that i encourage you guys to actually develop within your homes to start creating that energy a place where you can go to re-energize to meditate to take your spiritual evolution to a higher level to get answers and you really can do anything you want in this space as long as you remember to be like creative use it for a higher good um, which inevitably you're, you're going to have to because Moldavite is a high frequency stone and it only allows those good things to happen and so if you're guided to actually create this within your home and as you start building it up I want you guys to kind of keep notice of it because the more you work with it the more new ideas start to expand the more you can do with it be playful remember being a child and just remembering maybe like one of the happiest days playful days of your life almost look at this like as a child just having fun for the very first time exploring what this chamber will do this sacred chamber and just realize that you can open up so many hidden treasures within yourself so many secrets within yourself the universe and everything if you start to build this but like i said once you get to the point where you have them all on these four you always want to have the grounding stone in the middle or at least one on each end however you're guided to but just make sure you can even put three one two three i mean all across but if once you start building it to this level and then this level where the whole room is filled with moldavite that's where the magic starts to happen guys and just realize that it's crazy and i definitely recommend you guys to do it if you haven't done if you haven't done so yet and if you are guided to um and as always if you have any questions feel free to let me know i mean you could even bring food into this place make it sacred bring bring you could even learn how to heal um yourself heal others i mean there's it's just an infinite infinite chamber where you can do spiritual magic and i definitely encourage you guys to try this and, and so yeah guys i'm gonna be leaving you with that um if you guys are here in colorado um feel free to check out the denver mineral show they will be here this weekend and the moldavite family is going to be there i will leave all the details in the comments below um in the little description but uh yeah guys really check that out um start building your moldavite chamber and then You'll just see how great it becomes in your life as a healing tool, as a, as a tool in general for creativity, for passion, for anything you want, really. And um, it will help your spiritual evolution. So, in the meantime, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope this video has opened up a key inside your mind in some way, shape, or form. And uh, stay tuned for next week's video. As always, have a great day, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. See ya.